The book is uh, a book called Ordinary Grace. It's written by William Kent Kruger, who is um, really known for his Cork O'Connor mystery series, but this is the first standalone book he's written, and it really has taken off. It's won all sorts of awards, the Edgar Award and uh, also the Dillis Award among independent bookstores. And it's a book that is really a coming-of-age type book. It is um, written by a narrator, Frank Drum, and he um, is looking back at, he writes it in, when he's in his 50s, but he's looking back at a summer when he was uh, 13 to 14 years old, when a lot of changes happened, a lot of tragedy happened in his small um, Minnesota town. And so it's a look back for him at that time period and um, the hardships of, of growing up. So and William Kent Krieger, I love the last line. He explains it. Uh, he says, it's an unforgettable novel about discovering the terrible price of wisdom and the enduring grace of God. That's quite a bit what it's about. All right. And what's the message that the Door County readers can take away from this book? from what you've read so far, you guys? There's a lot. I mean, really, there's. Um, it's a great book because there's just so many different levels to it. You know, people, um, I, I myself have had family members who are in their 70s who have read it and loved it and family members who are in their, in their teens and have read it and loved it. So there's a lot in it, and I would say probably everyone who reads it is going to take something different, you know, out of it. So in a lot of ways, it's a coming-of-age story. For, for a young man, so there's that element of it. There's also a lot about just kind of what happens normally in life as you become, you know, for the adults and as you're as you're older, so people can take that out of it. There's a lot of um, of sort of gray area characters where, you know, and that's much how real life is too, where you, you can't decide if you like them or don't like them, and there's good parts of the character and then other parts of the character that you don't like. So there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of that redemption of human nature in the book, too. So so it's hard to say what one reader will take from it, because really, I think there's so many levels to it that, you know, everyone will take something out of it. All right. And any feedback so far from the community on this book choice? Yes, quite a bit. In fact, um, I've had people tell me that they've uh, finished reading it while they're stirring the dinner pot with one hand and have the book open on the kitchen counter <laughs> with the other. And I've had people tell me they, you know, are listening to the book on, on tape or on disc and they've driven all around the county, all around the back roads because they just can't stop before they're, you know, done with that last 20 minutes of the How book. How awesome so, of a sign is that? It's great. That people are just taking, you know... Evening, evening rides, maybe Sunday, drive around the county and listen to a book, and they're yep. taking, you know, you know, if it's a bad part of the book, they'll take a right-hand turn, yeah. they'll get them closer to <laughs> home. If it's a good part, they'll take a left-hand turn just and keep going. take another road. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. And the Friends of Door County always purchase books for us to give out paperback copies of the book, and we've given out, we give out 500 books this year. And they um, all went out in the first couple of weeks, and I've you know heard from people who have liked it so much that instead of giving the book back to the library when they finished, they passed it on to another another friend who wants to read it. So there's tons of books out there in the community, and and not enough books out there in the community, which is pretty exciting. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Any anything else about Door County Read so far? I would just say thanks to everybody who supports us. Really, um, there are those of us at the library that work hard on it, but we couldn't do it without all the community support we get. So, I, you know, thanks to everybody out there that makes this possible, and I hope everyone enjoys it as much as we do. Right. We'll stop it there. Great. Thank you so much.